have the Swifties at the Gospel Coalition lost their minds? It appears they have. In an article entitled, It's Me, Hi, I'm the Problem, It's Me, The Gospel in Taylor Swift Lyrics by Isaac Cowling. In this article written by a TGC contributor, Taylor Swift has some lyrics that are going to give hope to the world. Now I understand using cultural things in society to help explain the gospel and provocative titles, they're useful, they're helpful. Yes, use them because they help you click on the article and as they click on the article, we hope that people get the gospel. But this article just posts lyrics of Taylor Swift songs, but actually never gets to the gospel. They equated a Taylor Swift concert with a Billy Graham crusade. I just have a few things to talk about in this article. First, from a music perspective, I do not care about Taylor Swift. I do not like her music. I do not like really like anything about her. Number two. Taylor Swift is not a Christian and she has no desire to give glory to God with her music. But number three, instead of doing strange articles like this, how about doing articles, let's say, the gospel in Genesis, the gospel in Exodus, the gospel in Numbers, all the way to Revelation. You could have 66 articles speaking about the gospel in the 66 books of the Bible. Articles like this would be interesting. Articles like this would be edifying. Articles like this I would read top to bottom because they would be exalting a God of glory and teaching us about the glories of Jesus Christ and his good news. I don't know if the person who wrote this article is a huge Swifty or not, or just trying to get clicks, I don't know. But this article seems to be more excited about Taylor Swift than Jesus Christ. In fact, the only mention of Jesus Christ is this. I believe that the best way to satisfy our longings is the timeless story of Jesus, the lover of our souls. But then he goes on to say, we don't need to go to Billy Graham to hear this. All you need to do is to hear Taylor Swift. To say that about Jesus and then go on to quoting lyrics of Taylor Swift is truly a travesty. Again, I'm not criticizing using cultural things to preach the gospel and to use those as illustrations. But when you just use illustrations and don't teach the gospel, that is a travesty indeed. Now, it would be a travesty for me to say what I've said and not read you the gospel. And I'm going to read to you Luke chapter 24 verses 40 to 49, where Jesus explains his gospel. Then he said to them, These are my words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ should suffer on the third day and rise from the dead, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Here we hear that Jesus fulfills the law, the prophets, and the Psalms. And there you see the gospel of Jesus Christ and the law, the prophets, and the Psalms. Next, Jesus Christ came to earth and he died. And his sacrifice was for sin. He took upon the punishment of sin. He took upon the curse of the law. So that those who trust in Christ, who repent, turn from their sins, could have their sins forgiven. Next, Jesus rose on the third day. 
Jesus defeated death. And because Jesus rose from the dead, it shows us that he is God, but it also gives hope to the Christian that the promise of the resurrection is for them as well. And again, repentance, forgiveness of sins, is to be proclaimed. We're to turn from our sin, flee from sin, and flee to Jesus Christ. And because of Christ, we can have our sins wiped away, our sins pardoned, where God remembers our sins and lawless deeds no more. As well, the apostles were witnesses of these things. They witnessed the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and they've left us the New Testament to proclaim the truth of Jesus Christ. And then we have the promise of God the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is sent to empower us so that we can live a holy life and tell of the greatness of God to the world. We don't need Taylor Swift for any good news. God has given us 66 books that declare his greatness, his glory, his grace, his gospel. Thanks for watching and God bless.